I must preference this video by saying I am normal and so is my borderline unhealthy obsession with this book. Hi, hello, my name is Lainey. I'm a cosplayer and YouTuber who likes to talk about D&D, books, my own creations, and so much more. And today I will be attempting to make Gideon's long slash two-handed slash greatsword from the book Gideon the Ninth, book one of the Lock Tomb series. I, like others, have fallen in love with this book, but just in case you're new here or you haven't heard of this series, let me catch you up. According to Vox.com, the tagline for this book is lesbian necromancers in space, which is just chef's kiss. Being book one of a four-part series called the Lock Tomb series, it's a fantasy slash sci-fi novel packed full of women with swords, Gideon Knapp being one of them, religious trauma, and memes. Literally. I'll keep the talk about my love for this book to a minimum, which is easier said than done. But just before we begin, this is your warning that this video does include spoilers for the first and potentially the second book. I genuinely think this lipstick is... I... Okay. I look like I've eaten a cram. However, I feel like I can talk normally now, so I don't really care. Anyways, sword time. This is actually my second attempt at making Gideon sword. Back in 2020, when I made my first of many hero cosplays, I used Lumen Workshop's Excalibur sword pattern to make version one of the sword with the promise that one day I would remake it. having trouble with this design would be an understatement. This has been in the works for almost two months purely because I was having trouble collecting all my thoughts. Not to say I didn't have any idea for what I wanted. There was just so much detail that I wanted to be included that it was hard to narrow down to one design. As seen, I especially had trouble with the cross guard and ricasso. I think that's what it's called. I don't know for sure though. I tried to make it look like bones to whatever the hell this is, but eventually I ended up making it look all pointy, like a fence. Funnily enough, for a book about swordswoman, we actually never get a description of Gideon sword, so I had the time of my life, including as many references as I could in my design. Included are first flower of our house, the locked tomb itself, and of course, fences, because I'm hilarious. Gideon's sword is based on a two-handed sword, so I based all of my measurements on what Google could tell me, with some changes because otherwise his sword would literally be as tall as me. In the end, I made the blade 35 to 45 inches, while the hilt is 6 to 11 inches long. Okay, maybe a little dramatic, but it's fine. Get back here. So here's what I'm thinking material wise. The blade itself, I definitely want it to be eight millimeter foam. And then for some of the larger pieces, such as like the cross guard and whatnot, go with four millimeter foam, just so that it's not as bulky, but still has some width to it, if that makes sense. And then two millimeter, or this might be one, I think it's two, will just be used for all the many details. And I'll show you guys this in just a second because it is in the garage and I do not feel like bringing it upstairs. The majority of the handle is just going to be a PVC pipe, so I don't really need that much, I don't really need that much foam to give it width, and then I want it to be leather bound, so they'll take care of the rest. I have no clue how I'm going to make the pommel, but that will be a problem for future Lainey. With all that being said, I'm just going to cut out all the respective pieces, and we'll talk to you in a bit.
maybe not my best work. However, I don't think anybody is going to be close enough to even tell. So. The sword is together. I would call this about 75-80% together. So I did end up making a pommel, except I hate it. I feel like it's really big and it's really bulky, but I'm gonna probably remake it. And remade it, I did. I'm going to spare you guys the extra 20 minutes I kept talking and just show you guys the results. After some consideration, I decided to match the pommel to the guard, and although it might not be the skull like I originally wanted it to be, I think this just looks nicer, so. I am frustrated, I am angry. Okay, so I was trying to get my dive pot for a completely different project for the next video. And what do I find? This little shit. Why was it here? Why? I put all my pieces over there. How did you end up here? How? I do you know what? That's your new home now, goodbye. And here, uh, here is the final product. <laughs> this is my biggest prop to date, and I honestly could not be happier with it. As you can see, I was not able to add the little chains that I wanted originally. However, I think it looks more sleek this way, honestly, and it'll make it a lot easier to travel with if I ever go to a con. I'm currently remaking my entire hero cosplay for the release of Nona the Night, so if you're a fan of the Locked Tomb series, make sure to subscribe. And if you're not a fan, that's totally fine. I have a bunch of other videos about She-Ra, Arcane, Critical Role, and so much more. So go check out those if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. I have to figure out where I'm going to store this at. But yeah, until next time, guys. See ya!